The decision by federal prosecutors in New York to charge Jeffrey Epstein with the sex trafficking of minors last week has already led to the resignation of a member of the nation's cabinet. Labor Secretary Alex Acosta has resigned. The exploding case has also turned radioactive for celebrity friends and politicians in Epstein's orbit who could find themselves in proximity to some of his crimes, given the social circles in which he, uh, in which he acted. Uh, that, that may include the president himself, who often socialized with Epstein, including at Mar-a-Lago in this new video unearthed just today by MSNBC. Investigators, investigations into Epstein's conduct are also widening now to other states. The attorney general in the state of New Mexico has announced that his office is now actively investigating whether Epstein might have committed similar crimes at a ranch that Epstein owns in New Mexico. That property is on hundreds of acres. It's basically a gigantic palace in the desert. It includes a private airplane hangar and a landing strip. New Mexico's Attorney General Hector Balderas says his office has interviewed Epstein's potential victims who visited the ranch. Uh, he also says that his office has been in contact with the U.S. Attorney's Office in the Southern District of New York, which, of course, is, bringing, is prosecuting this case against uh, Epstein right now. Joining us now is New Mexico's Attorney General Hector Balderas. Uh, Mr. Attorney General, thanks very much for making time to us, for us. I appreciate you being here. It's great to be with you. So you have said that you are actively investigating whether crimes were committed at, at Epstein's ranch. When did you start investigating and what led to that decision? Well, we actually became concerned. We were monitoring, monitoring the Florida case. And so when the federal judge determined that uh, victims were left out of the, um, of the matter in the plea agreement relating to Florida, we became concerned because we were aware uh, early on that there was a nexus related to a New Mexico ranch. So in March of this year, we began to kick up the investigation. What can you tell us um, about the investigation? Obviously, it's an ongoing matter, but if, is there anything that you can tell our viewers in terms of its scope or whether or not uh, you've had communication with women who say they were victims of the type of behavior from Epstein that we've seen charged in New York? Well, I can confirm that it involves uh, individuals that were underage, um, and so that's a major concern. It's involving an area that was very secluded and high risk. And most importantly, it's a course of conduct that really needs a thorough accounting. Because Flora didn't thoroughly investigate and handle this case initially, it's important that we go back uh, many years and we secure a thorough accounting of the facts uh, because we have confirmed that there are survivor victims that we want to make sure that we refer this evidence to the New York prosecutors. One of the reasons I wanted to talk to you uh, tonight, Mr. Attorney General, is that y you've said your investigation is also going to include review of Epstein's uh, business dealings related to his New Mexico ranch. It's been reported that your office has acquired hundreds of pages of documents from the state land office. Uh, and I just didn't know how that, how that might relate to this overall investigation or, or if you could explain that here tonight. Sure. Um, you know, in New Mexico, we have a high a portion of public lands and they are supposed to be leased to ranchers and other business leaders through a process. And so uh, we just discovered recently that he also had uh, very important land leases surrounding his private property. And so we want to make sure that all rules and laws were followed. And uh, it does raise a concern that in this investigation that we want to make sure that his dealings uh, in his business life were above board as well concerning that we have uh, an active investigation going on. Now, there have been local reports that Epstein actually purchased the land for this ranch from the former governor of the state. Um, obviously, um, with you looking into the business aspects of this and with this newly active investigation in terms of Epstein's conduct at the ranch uh, and the, you know, the, one of the things that has been one of the great tragedies of the Epstein case is that it's, he seems to have been able to do these things for years and get out of it again and again and again. Uh, is there any question that Epstein might have avoided scrutiny in New Mexico before now because of his political connections, because he was doing things like buying this gigantic tract of land from the former governor? Absolutely. One thing that's very regrettable about this case is there were multiple system failures, both in local prosecution and investigations, state and federal prosecution and investigations failed these many victims uh, who were really children. So this was never really handled uh, as a proper child abuse investigation as it should have. So we're going to make sure that we understand uh, that further laws or rules were not bent in favor of the powerful. 
Hector Balderas, Attorney General for the great state of New Mexico. Sir, thanks for making time to be with us tonight. Please uh, keep us surprised. We'd love to have you back as this proceeds. Thank you. All right, we'll be right back. Stay with us. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.